What is up guys, it is Team Tonight here and today welcome back to an Attack of the Radioactive Thing video. Now I'm just going to go straight into the video, it's going to be a Pack-a-Punch tutorial. Now me, Disco, were one of like the first ones to figure out like how to Pack-a-Punch. So yeah, even though like Codename Pizza and Dalek already have made videos, you know, telling people how to Pack-a-Punch, I still wanted to make a video because we were one of the first people to actually like solve it. Also a very special shout out to NewGen for pretty much helping us solve this. You know, we wouldn't have done it without him, so definitely go subscribe to him. Link to his channel will be in the description below. But yeah, anyway, let's get right into it. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this little tutorial, and if it has helped you out, you know, definitely go hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to Disco as well. Subscribe to NewGen for helping out. Just, you know, couldn't have done it without these guys, but without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Now, first thing you're going to want to have to do is turn on power. Now, if you guys don't know how to turn on power, well, you're in luck. So, yeah, you got to go to this little beach area, and, and there's going to be, like, this hand sticking up from the sand. And, yeah, you hold square, and you'll get this little lever. One of the doors from spawn actually leads to a diner, and you go up the little road, open that door, and there you go. Power's right here. You just put the lever right there. Press square on it, and bam, you have officially turned on the power. Now, let's go to the next step, which is actually talking to... Elvira. You know, I'm pretty much showing how to get to her, you know, a lot of these YouTubers, like, show, like, oh, you know, you have to talk to Elvira, but they don't show, like, how to get to Elvira. So, yeah, there's gonna be bang bangs right there, and you go inside this little, like, studio, and yeah, talk to Elvira. Now you're ready to go on to the next step, which is actually getting a book. Now, south from power, like I said, I want to, like, show, like, exactly where these locations are. You go down to this little diner, you go past like the register. I turn on the jukebox. You don't have to do that, by the way. And there's gonna be this little safe or locker. Press square on it, and bam, you got Elvira's book. You're gonna wanna have to go back to Elvira and then give her the book. You know, she's gonna play a quote, like she's gonna talk for a bit, probably like a couple of seconds. So yeah, but like just you know, stay there, like, she will talk a bit. Be patient, let her finish her whole quote. It'll probably last, like, 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And then you'll get this little flask that you'll have to fill up. Now, the next step, this is how we did it. You know, you gotta kill these little soldier, like, radioactive soldiers. And you gotta step on the puddle. And you gotta kill zombies while you're in that puddle. Now, this step can kind of be a little, like, finicky. But the way we killed them, we just stand in the puddle and kill the zombies while in that little radioactive puddle. So, yeah, I mean, that step is kind of finicky. I'll make sure to update the description whether we find, like, a for sure tactic on how to do that step. But, yeah, once you have the flask up to the tip, all you have to do is go back to Elvira. She'll pretty much get up on her couch. I know you don't see it in this gameplay, but, yeah, she'll get up on her couch or off her couch, I should say. Now, Elvira is going to follow you. You don't follow Elvira. She's going to follow you. Now, if you look up to the sky, there should be these dark blue orbs. If you don't see the dark blue orbs in the sky, just look around the map for, like, these little, like, dark blue orbs. And you should see it, like, one of the locations is by the diner. Another location, there are only two locations I need to remind you guys that there's only two locations that the blue orb can spawn at. And it will be around this little, like, trailer park area. Just look around for the blue orb and you should be able to see it. You know, it's not that hard to see. All you gotta do is wait a bit for Elvira to come. Now, chances are you probably have, like, a full round of zombies, so you gotta be careful for that. If you do have, like, a zombie saved, that would definitely be helpful. But yeah, all you gotta do is just wait by these little blue orbs for Elvira to come open it up. And there you go, guys. You have officially opened up the Pack-A-Punch. I hope this video has helped you out in some shape or form. If you guys have any questions for me about Pack-A-Punching, definitely, you know, comment down in the comment section down below. I'll be reading every single comment. I'll be replying to every single comment. Don't be afraid to ask me any questions regarding pack a punch but yeah shout out to disco crows and new gen for helping me out definitely go check out their channels but yeah my name is team tonight here hope you guys have a wonderful day just keep those positive vibes flowing leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe if you are new but yeah see you guys in the next one peace out